Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Adobe CEF helper.exe causing high CPU in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the SFC scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window make sure to type the following command. Note that the scan can take a bit of time so make sure to not lose any patience. Afterwards restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane scroll down until you find the Windows update section and click on it. Now on the right side click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will try to find the best possible updates for your PC. After installing them just restart your PC and then check if the issue is resolved. You can also restore Windows 11 to a previous point in time. To do this press the Windows button then simply type RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. Now in the system restore window start by clicking on the next button and afterwards choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then proceed by pressing on next. Lastly just confirm by pressing on finish and then the restoration process will start. Now after the restoration process is finished you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to reinstall Adobe Creative Cloud. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. In here under the app list click on the search box and simply type creative. Now scroll down until you find Adobe Creative Cloud and then simply select the ellipsis next to it. The last thing you have to do now is click on the uninstall option to uninstall the software. Afterwards just restart your PC and then proceed by reinstalling the software. And that's it, you can then check if the problem still persists. Plenty of solutions to consider, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.